Oaktech is a technology development company. We have a core technology called Pulsar and it has significant advantages over conventional combustion engines in that it burns gas very efficiently, it's very clean and nobody else globally makes an engine like Pulsar. So there's two problems that we are addressing. One is energy access. The issue with off-grid communities is they don't have low-cost, reliable access to power. A lot of them use diesel generators, which are very expensive. So we are looking at biogas as a way of providing ultra-low-cost fuel through anaerobic digestion and converting that gas into electricity through a very clean, simple, efficient engine. The second problem we're solving is emissions, so looking particularly at things like the construction sector that uses a lot of diesel engines. With one of our partner companies, EP Barris, we have an engine running on an endurance test at the moment. It's doing a thousand hours of continual running. So we're going to have a stage five uh, certified gas engine and we really see really promising commercial opportunities as we take the product to market. A big opportunity for the gas engine is something like a a tuk-tuk. Our engine has exactly the same characteristics in terms of its power delivery as the engines they use currently in tuk-tuks but is a lot more fuel efficient and a lot cleaner on exhaust emissions so potentially our technology could be a direct replacement for the engines they currently use to power these vehicles. The Energy Catalyst funding has been absolutely instrumental to the whole success of our Pulsar technology and in particular a new project that allows us to take our technology into Kenya. So we will be working with a company called Systema Bio who are the global leader in small scale anaerobic digestion and we will be putting Oaktech biogas generators onto their systems to generate power on small farms in Kenya. We're tremendously excited about the future opportunities for the Pulsar engine. We've currently developed the engine on LPG and on biogas, but more recently we've looked at burning hydrogen because it has no carbon emissions. So as an opportunity for the future, it is massive.